Well, hello, welcome to Jaipur, the hello. capital and biggest city in the Rajasthan region. With a population of 3.1 million, it's the 10th biggest city in the whole of India. It's known as the Pink City because of the colour scheme of its buildings, and it's also been dubbed the Paris of India. Now, I've not seen any sign of these pink buildings yet, but I am staying outside the centre. So today I'm heading into the centre for the first time to see if I can find out just why Jaipur is named the Pink City. Before we do that, I'm going to call into the Central Park, which is on the way, and see if there's anything going on down there. So let's go and explore the Pink City of Jaipur. Well, this is the first sign of the uh, Pink City. Wow, this is a pretty nice place. It's all locked up, so I don't know what it is. I managed to get in. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to, because there was a security guy there, but he was too busy reading the book. So, yeah, this is an auditorium. We've got a planetarium, cafeteria, got a bit of everything going on. Let's take a closer look at this. Very nice. Right, here we are then. The birds of Central Park. Wow, we might even see a peacock. I normally like to come to a park after I've been exploring the city to kind of chill out after the hustle and bustle. But um, I've not even been into the city yet. But this is on the way, so might as well take a look now. This is the centerpiece of the park, which was designed and created by a French artist in collaboration with local artists. I do believe there are two. There's another one somewhere. This is in the south and there's another one in the north. See these figures with no feet, no arms, no faces. They're meant to represent guardians that protect the people of Jaipur. I've just come out of the central park onto the main road and you can see now how busy it is. Got some kind of like open market here. Guy giving out juice, looks like it's free but might be made with tap water so I'm not gonna miss that. Well another little pig in pig in place like the one we saw in uh, Agra. You can buy some uh, pigeon feeds from any one of these stalls. I like the pigeons in Rajasthan. The guy behind me just taking a piss against the wall. He's about 15 meters away from a public toilet. Hello, Hello. how you doing my friend? One thing that I'm not liking too much about India is how much it sticks a piss in the cities. It seems like every street has a corner where people just use as a toilet. Right, so this is the Albert Hall Museum. Looks very nice, not exactly sure how you get in or if it's even open. I decided I am going to go in this place after all. Um, online it says it's 300 for foreigners. It's actually gone up, it's now 302. I mean what the bloody hell is the point of that? So you give him 500 and he's got to give you a lot of crappy change, which of course he's going to run out of immediately. Just crazy. This camera is inside or not allowed? Inside not allowed? Yeah, inside and outside. Okay. Well, it all looks very nice. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in. This is the entrance then to the Albert Hall Museum. Now when the foundation stone was first laid in 1876 by the Prince of Wales, it was, um, no one knew what it was going to be. I had to switch to my mobile because they wouldn't let me film with my GoPro and they even made me delete the video I was making. They said I'm allowed to film on my mobile but not on my GoPro. Now what is the bloody difference? Anyway, it's very nice building inside. The museum? Meh. And the fact that 
not only did they tell me that I couldn't use my GoPro in there, I couldn't film, but then he asked me to delete the footage that I'd already filmed. It's just ridiculous. You can film on your mobile, but not on a GoPro. What's the bloody difference? It's just crazy. And yeah, and then as I'm coming out, there's some little uh, Indian puppet show going on with some musicians, which is very nice. They came and told me to sit down. <laughs> of course, I get up to stand and walk away. They want some money. Right, I'm, I'm sorry, you're inside the museum that I've just paid 300 rupees to bloody see. I'm not paying again. And then you get out and it's like, bloody tuk tuks, where are you going? Where are you going? None of your bloody business. <laughs> oh man, it's just. Oh, India. Do you know what? I'd have been better just coming to the front and just taking a bloody photo from here. Another thing that pissed me off as well is there was like security in every room. So, you know, you can't just suddenly whip out your GoPro because they're in every room. And if a little kid does something, if he touches something that he's not allowed to touch or something like that, you know, a little kid, they whistle so loud. You know, it freaks everyone out. They're like frustrated wannabe head teachers or something. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, my next stop is some bazaar where hopefully I can get some bloody food because I'm not eating anything yet. Where's the heart of this city? Where's its centre? Where are the pink buildings? It's known as the pink city. I mean, is it just because, you know, this is pink? Right, I think this is actually now going to bring me into the city. Here we are. Here we are. All right, let's get some bloody food. Whoa. That's not pink, is it? Is it me? Am I colourblind? Because everything seems to be this kind of orangey colour. I keep getting offered free juice. Uh, there's all these little stands. And this little kid, my me just followed me up the road saying, please drink, please drink. If I drink some of that, I'm going to have bloody piss coming out my arse. Well, I'm right in the middle of the uh, bazaar now. I've spent about five minutes walking around the bazaar so far. I've seen nothing but clothes shops. No food anyway. Can you believe it? It's almost impossible to walk because there's just crap everywhere. So much rubbish on the streets. I seem to have found some kind of main street in this bazaar. Still no food, it's just all clothes. Well, up here there's a sign for something called Sanjay Bazaar. So maybe, just maybe, I'll get some food over there. When I uh, put up on Facebook that I was heading to Jaipur, um, loads, well, loads of people, two people, said, oh, it's amazing. I love Jaipur. It's fantastic. And, oh yeah, it's, it's a nice enough place. I don't see it yet. I don't see why everyone's like saying it's amazing look at this this is the zebra crossing which i've just crossed you get to the middle <laughs> what the hell what do they really want you to use this crossing i was taking a photo now i'm filming now you're on youtube <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's have a couple. Hello, my friend. Hello. <laughs> See you. How are you doing? <laughs> Very nice. This is potato. Potatoes and onions. Onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in uh, Hindi, what it was this? Aloo. Uh, oh, of course, aloo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aloo. Yeah. So you have like uh, aloo matar and aloo. Uh, gobi and uh, uh, so alu, yeah. Gobi is, is uh, what is this? Piaj. Piaj. Onion. Oh, okay, onion. Okay. And in um, <laughs> cauliflower, that would be gobi. 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 Okay. Gobi. We have a round here somewhere. <laughs> and mata is it peas? 
Butter. Yeah. Is it peas? Peas, small. Small peas, peas. Butter. You know? Oh, that's uh, okra. Okra, this one. Uh, ah, okay. This is matar. Really? Okay, I thought these were. Uh, I thought that was peas, matar. Okay, very nice. Very nice, my friend. <laughs> it's okay, man. <laughs> Oh, that's all what's very cool. Oh, here we are again. Look at these guys. <laughs> YouTube superstars. How are we doing, my friend? <laughs> well, we've got a little bit of uh, Hindi lessons there. Never say that the Global Treats channel is not educational. Hello, hello. They're going to have some money, aren't they? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Wait for it. Money, money. Actually, no. Maybe they were just genuinely saying hello. Oh, this is for me. Oh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. Oh, I've got myself a, a free drink in a box, so I can, I'm safe with this one. Fruit mango drink, it says, so let's give that a go. Oh, that's delicious. I never thought I was a big fan of mango, to be honest. I never once had a mango uh, ice smoothie in Thailand, always went for the passion fruit. I think I missed a trick, huh? Oh, I've had to do a Google map search for restaurants, can you believe it, in India, because I'm just not finding any. It's all really close, and uh, well, apparently at the top of here we'll get to a main road, and there's a few places on there, a few chicken restaurants, which is good, because I want tandoori chicken. It's crazy how well, people try to get you into their shop. You know, they're shouting, hello, hello, come in, have a look. The guys just told me to come into his shop to have a look. All they were selling was women's dresses. There's like one of these. Well, I want one that. Right, somewhere around here, there should be a chicken restaurant. I think it's somewhere on the left-hand side. So that's what I've got to do, because I'm not eating a bloody thing yet. So let's get across here. Oh, I spotted it. Owl's Chicken Sensor. 309. Yeah. Well, I don't like the look of that. I'm putting the only way to sit, so keep going. There's a place here called Cable Chicken Saji. I've never had chicken saji before, so I'm gonna see. Is it even open? No? Not open. Upstairs? Yeah? Okay. Oh, hello. You open? I've just gone in and asked him if he's open he doesn't know. No, fucking open. This is ridiculous. This must be the only place in India where you can't find anything to bloody eat. <laughs> okay, no. I'll go back. Come <laughs> on. Okay. Yeah, I think so. It's right. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, nice friendly dogs. I'll probably get around the corner and they'll be here. No, I know that they're uh, not friendly. If they do start barking, I'll just run at them and kick them in bloody chops. I don't even know how to get out of this place now. I'm just lost on the back streets. Every time someone looks at me, they look at me as if to say, what the chiffin' hell's he doing here? No restaurants, can you believe it? I'm in bloody India, no restaurants. I've found a kind of restaurant, vegetarian restaurant. I've gone for mushroom uh, matawa, which 
I think he's mushroom and peas. And he asked me if I liked it spicy, and I said no. And he went, a little bit spicy. So it's going to be spicy. Anyway, yeah, I finally got some food, so let's see what it's like. Well, it looks pretty nice, to be honest. Um, small portion. It's a lot more expensive than what I had yesterday, but it's food. The bread looks nice. So let's tuck in. I'm just entering the city palace now. now. I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to see because to actually get into the city palace, it's 700 rupees, seven pounds, and I'm not paying that. So I'm okay, thank you. Um, I'm not paying seven pounds to get in. So we'll see uh, if we can just wander around the uh, gardens and uh, maybe get a shot of the palace from the outside. I mean, the museum wasn't really worth it so no I'm okay my friend well this is the second main gate that I've walked through and nobody's charged me anything yet there's another gate coming up here I'm presuming at some point there's going to be uh, a ticket office I think this might be it actually they're not going to hello uh, England England my friend <laughs> Lovely jubbly, it never starts being funny, does it? But yeah, um, they're not going to let people in to take photos of the building, are they, when they're charging seven quid to get in? So we'll see how far we can get. Probably as far as uh, this gate here, I would have thought. Well, to say that this is one of the main tourist sites and historic building, it's in a bit of a tip from the outside. The main gate's nice, but yeah, I'll get it around here. Uh, we'll see how far we can get. Probably no further than this. Okay. Um, maybe 700. Palace. Okay. Which one do you want to see? Museum or palace? Is it 700? 700 that is for the museum. Okay. Like a textile gallery, armory gallery, that's yeah. in 700. Okay. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Well, that's as far as we can get without paying 700 bloody rupees. It's not that I'm paying that. Oh, no, sorry. I mean, it doesn't really sell it to you, does it? This is the outside, just as you go in. 700 rupees to go in there. Don't think so. So we'll have a wander around the outside of the palace. All this on the outside. Do you think? Could be shops, couldn't it? All these could be all different stalls. And it's just left like this. Just a dump. Well, this is more what I expected on the outside. Souvenir shops. Got the old elephant pants there. Not seen them since Thailand. I can subscribe. You're gonna subscribe? Fantastic. Yeah, I will watch. I, I can watch sometimes. Before I can watch you, I, may, I will know you. Oh, okay. But I will not. Well, you'll be, you'll be on the video. You're on the video now, so. Take it with me, shout out! <laughs> hey man! Got myself another subscriber there. <laughs> all these subscribers that I'm getting in India, they're all gonna be like, right, where am I? Where, where's the video with me on it? And we're gonna have to wait for the year. Right. What's this? Uh... This is a thing that people are uh, going into. Janta Manta. This was 200 to get in, which is a bit more realistic. 400 for a guide. This one is uh, an instrument that measures the altitude of a celestial object when it crosses the meridian. So the tuk tuk driver did warn me that this place is very hot at this time of day because we're right out in the open. 
He's a very smart tuk-tuk driver because when he uh, first um, introduced himself, I just said, no, I'm okay, I'm not interested. And he says, no, I just want to talk because I'm trying to learn English. I want to speak to uh, foreigners. So I had a chat with him and then he tried to sell me a trip up to the water palace. I didn't even know what this place was when I first entered. I asked the guy what it was and he, he didn't really tell me. But yeah, it's uh, definitely to do with uh, astronomy, taking readings of the position and altitude and all that stuff. When I was in the one in Delhi, I'm sure, I thought that it was unique, one of a kind. But actually, now thinking about it, it wasn't, was it? And in fact, I think the guy who built the one in Delhi was actually from Jaipur, so it's probably the same guy. Oh, you can go down. Well, this is a sundial that can give the time to an accuracy of two seconds. Don't ask me how. Because I don't know. And the only way for me to have found out was to pay 400 rupees to have a guide to explain all this stuff to me. I haven't got enough subscribers to pay for guides. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Well, I've just been asked to be part of some guy's photography project. He wanted me to just walk across and uh, while well, he took a, a photo from kind of ground level and uh, it turns out I was the world's greatest walker, which I didn't know about, but it doesn't surprise me to be honest. What's this all about? Oh, the blue security here with the whistles. So it appears that um, these are all related to star signs. We have Leo over there, Sagittarius here. One thing about coming in here, I've got myself four new subscribers. <laughs> As soon as anyone sees you with a GoPro, they just come up to you and they say like, what's the name of your channel? So I'm picking up subscribers all over the place in India, which is good. Oh, it's okay, my friend, it's okay. No, this is the Rajasthani. Okay. Rajasthani. Oh, I've seen, I saw it earlier at the um, Albert Hall Museum, same thing. No, look. Yeah, yeah, the puppets. Yeah, I, I see, I see you already, I see you already. Well, this looks like it might have been an important building back in the day. Not being used for anything now. It's a protected monument. Look at that, that's what a protected monument in India looks like. Is there any information about what it used to be? Oh, it used to be the town hall. What the hell? 1835. Now look at it. There's this one thing that I'm going to go and look at today and it closes in 10 minutes. And I'm hoping that's the last admission and not when they actually close the whole place. It's just coming up on my right hand side. Oh wow! Look at that! Well, I walk straight past the uh, entrance. Big thing like this, you thought there might be like a big sign or something, but you'll probably have to walk through one of these shops to get in. How are we doing, my friend? Oh, You're all right, man. Where are you from? England. 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 Yeah, nice Lampard. one. How do I, do I get? Uh, is this the entrance into yeah, here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Nice one, my friend. Okay, thank you, man. England. This is a mic of silver jewelry. Rings, bracelets, everything. Okay. I Some very nice stuff. I have more connections. Okay. Okay, I'm okay, mate. Thank you. Well, I'm not exactly sure 
if I'm going in the right way. Oh, I am. It's the way to Howell Mahal, which is what I'm going to go and look at. All right, this is the Hawa Mahal. I don't even know what this is. Oh, there's some information here. Let's see what it is before we go in. It was built in 1799 by an architect who was a devotee of Lord Krishna. So the facade of this palace is in the shape of Lord Krishna's crown. 87 foot high pyramid shaped five storied structure has 365 windows. Alright, this is it then. Looks better from the other side. <laughs> Fountain, which is not working obviously. So how do we get up there then? This is the Sharad Mandir, whatever that means. Another one of the puppet shows. Alright, this is the entrance to get up to the top then, so let's check it out. Yeah. Wheel chair then. It's the first floor then. Not exactly sure if there's anything to actually go and look at in this place. It's nice, isn't it? Actually bigger than I thought this thing. At first I thought we were just gonna go up two flights and that was it, but this yeah. there's loads of it. Stairs going down here, so I guess that's what will take me down there. Wow. <laughs> I don't think anyone's come into this part. Let's have a where we are. Well, see the uh, fort right at the top there. See the old paintings here. Still in very good condition. I was trying to get a nice shot of this behind me, but I couldn't because everyone's doing the whole having to take their photo in front of the thing thing, which is just, I just don't get it. Why would you? Why would you need to have you in a shot of something like that? You know, stood there and hope. Or just take a photo of the thing. You don't need to be stood in front of the thing. Very colourful in here. Another one of these uh, puppet shows. Now oh, let's get up to the top. I think they're starting to try and kick people out. They can bugger off for that. Not that paid two quid. Maybe. All right. Looks like we made our way almost to the top. Anyway. This is one way. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good view. Not bad at all. Right, I've got myself right in the corner of this crazy old building. I don't think I've been over there yet. All over here. 
Nice shots though, nice views. This is the uh, place where I've just been and then I think that's the, um, the palace that I opted not to go to because it was too expensive. And here we have my, my two latest subscribers to the YouTube channel. You want to say hello? <laughs> so give it a year, you'll, you'll see yourself. <laughs> my name is Sanjeev. My name is Nia. Thank you for subscribing, my friends. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We love your company. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Security are trying to get people out now and they're doing that. I think you're getting like this whistling and shouting at people. It's very, very aggressive. I don't know what it is with uh, security in these places, but. Anyway, that's where I just was. YouTube channel? YouTube. Do you want to say hello? Yeah. <laughs> Well, here we are then. Finished my first day in Jaipur. It's been a mixed day, to be honest. It's, I've had some good times. I've uh, visited some interesting places, but it's also been frustrating as hell. Um, so, yeah, I guess that sums up India, doesn't it, really? Um, but tomorrow we've got some more things to go and look at. I think there's a couple of uh, palaces, which are probably about 10 quid to get in, so I'll get up there and not go in, but there you go. But uh, yeah, well, we'll see how we get on. I'm going to enjoy a couple of Kingfisher. Bloody hell.